Salutations, my name is Summer and this is Sterling Reads and I just wanna go over what I've been reading. Oh, that's Sylvie. Um, so Sunday, I picked up first um, Kiss Me Like a Stranger and this is a memoir by Gene Wilder and I didn't get too far in it and it was a bit too much. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for what I was reading. I assumed it. it's a great cover. I assumed it would be kind of lighthearted and funny and it was heavy stuff early on. So I decided not to read it. I, I am going to read it at some point um, this month. I just wasn't ready. There's Sterling. I wasn't ready for it. You know how that goes. So instead, I picked up Skylight Confessions by Alice Hoffman and I really enjoyed it. I have enjoyed every Alice Hoffman I have read. Um, this is about three generations of a family. Um, it's kind of, I would say it's about a haunting, um, the trigger warnings, there is suicide and, um, other things in this book, but it was, it was really good. Um, you know, she, melancholy was throughout the book, but it was very good, um, yeah, drug abuse. That's what I was trying to think of. Suicide and drug abuse is, is in here. Um, but it also was a story about love and how people love differently. And it's just a family. Like I said, three generations of a family and relationships and struggles with that. And yeah, it was very good. Um, I finished... Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Uh, this is the first book in a series. I, I didn't know that when I first picked it up. Um, I loved My Buddy Read with Deanna. I really enjoyed this book. I was talking to her and I, I can't quite give it five stars because it was a bit jarring. So this is about Gabriel, who is a uh, pale blood, which means his father was a vampire and his mother was human. And so he has certain powers and each vampire bloodline is different. So you learn about that. Um, oh, there's so many surprises. Um, each vampire book I've, I read, I have to then get used to the rules of this, the authors, how they write vampires. And they used a lot of traditional, th Jay Kristoff used a lot of traditional things about vampires, which I like. There's a lot of religion in this. Um, if you are easily offended, I would not recommend this book. There's a lot of swearing. There's a lot of violence. There's, um, our main character isn't really likable. I mean, I, I really enjoyed him as a character, but if he was a person in real life, I would not be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, lots, of, lots of twists and turns and surprises. Um, close to the end, I gasped about something that happened that I, was, I did not see coming. Uh, um, and then right after that, something else happened that I did not see coming. Um, so this was, it was a great surprise. Also, it, it's huge, right? 766 pages, I believe. Um, unless I'm wrong because I was reading another 700 page at the same time as I started this one, but um, it's not as long as you think. Number one, the print is excellent. And also um, there's pictures throughout. Watch me not be able to uh, find it, but there really are, it's full, it's full of pictures, even though it seems like it's proving me wrong. I am not a fan of the artwork, but you know, to each their own, right? Uh, I just didn't pay attention to it and, and I, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a fantastic read. But like I said, if you are easily offended by uh, swear words, um, religion, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend it to those people, but it, it's, it, I thought it was a fun ride. And I was, it was so nice reading with Deanna. Um, so let's see. What I am currently reading, that is Ride the Wind by Lucia St. Clair Robson. My mom recommended this book to me a long time ago, and I feel like I must have read it. I mean, I'm talking about teenager years. Um, 
And I must have read it because now so many things, I'm, I'm, it's so familiar to me. And I'm thinking, I had to have read this before, but I don't know. So this is about Cynthia Parker. And when she was nine years old, she was captured by the Comanche. Oh my gosh. Well, actually, uh, let me see. There was maybe like four people. She lived in, um, I want to say, okay, it was 18... 36 her family was in Texas in a fort and before they could shut the gates the most of her family and her neighbors and all of them were massacred um, this book is very violent um, I hope it just gets right to the heart though and you know it shows with no matter it, it's not it's not necessarily picking sides. It's like there's good and bad people everywhere. And we all know that. In every nationality, there is good and bad people. Um, Cynthia is treated very well. She is taken in and she is one of the tribe. Uh, her brother is the same way. He was taken into another area, um, but he was taken, he was, he was younger than her. I wanna say he was seven and she was nine. Now, their 15-year-old cousin, Rachel, was treated brutally. Um, and the, she doesn't hold back when it comes to torture and stuff like that. And I was reading the back of this, and this is completely true. I'm halfway through. It says, it will thrill you, absorb you, touch your soul, and make you cry as you celebrate the beauty and mourn the end of the great Comanche nation. So, yeah, Cynthia is still young right now. Um, Wanderer is going to be her husband. Uh, in the, the very beginning, on the first page, it shows a picture of Kwana Parker, circa 1880, Shown as a child of our cover painting by the artist Tom Hall, Kwana was a son of Cynthia Ann Parker and Wanderer and was the last free war chief of the Comanche. So, has that picture there. I'm only halfway through. I'm loving it. My anxiety has been very high because it is serious stuff that they're talking about, um, but it's, it's wonderful. So something I want to pick up this week, I've been hesitant. <laughs> so I have not picked this up. I've been really nervous about it. So I am going to pick up King Lear within the next day or so, and we will see how it goes. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys are reading, what you're enjoying this month so far. Uh, it's early in, but there's a lot I want to read. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.